A shocking revelation today from actress and activist Angelina Jolie about her health. Jolie has announced that she has undergone a double mastectomy in the hopes of preventing cancer. In an op-ed published in the New York Times, she reveals that she carries the BRCA1 gene, a genetic abnormality that puts her at an 87% risk of developing breast cancer. Jolie writes, quote, the decision to have a mastectomy was not easy, but it is one I am very happy that I made. I can tell my children that they don't need to fear they will lose me to breast cancer. When you have someone share their story, no one knows it better than you, Robin, um, that's incredibly moving and incredibly powerful. I mean, this is going to be a complete game changer when it comes to testing in breast cancer. The Oscar-winning actress had both breasts removed in February and has since had reconstructive surgery. Now, the globe-trotting philanthropist hopes her going public will inspire other women to get tested for the BRCA1 gene. 23 ABC's Christine Dunn tells us about what the testing is and who should get it. Christine? Genetic testing is still not well known, even though doctors say everyone should know about it. Rhonda Willingham is battling stage 4 breast cancer. After years of fighting it, in hindsight, she says she wishes she had known about genetic screening for cancer. Now... I begged my daughter, I, I've got her, she's going to go get tested if her insurance will cover it because of me. I want to make sure she's safe. Prevention is key. Oncologist and Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center Director Dr. Ravi Patel says genetic screening is still widely unknown. And this can literally change their life. It changes their destiny from getting cancers. The screening consists of a blood test that looks for the BRCA1 and 2 genes, which are strong indicators for breast or ovarian cancer. The test costs about $3,000. And most of the times the insurance companies will cover it. But you have to get it pre-approved by the insurance company. Only people with a strong family history of breast or ovarian cancer qualify for the test. If you test positive for the gene. Well, under those circumstances, what is the best option to remove the breasts? Patel says that drops your chances of developing breast cancer from 80% down to 5%. You still have the gene. The gene is always in your body, so you can't get rid of it. But the end organ which can produce the cancer is eliminated. Patel says testing is important for the patient and their family. If you are positive, then other members in your family need to be tested. Willingham says don't take your chances. Try and get it taken care of if you can. Patel says not everyone with breast cancer should have a mastectomy. In some cases, a lumpectomy is all you need. It's important to consult with your doctors before making a surgical decision. Reporting from the studio, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.